everyone. A warm welcome from me at Business and Heels. And today I'm lucky enough to be introducing you to Karen Jarvis, who is the new branch director for um, Sydney Penrith. And we are so excited to have you on board, Karen. Thank you so much. <laughs> Great and look, she's she's in the business and heels colours, so she's so <laughs> so. Um, Karen, tell us a little bit about your journey and how you came to get connected with business and heels. Yeah, sure. So uh, I was invited by a high school friend, Natalie Hiller. Some of you might know. Uh, I was working in a government job, which um, for 13 years I worked in government, and it was fantastic as a start to my career but I had begun to feel quite stifled by all the rules and regulations and the lack of in innovation. Um, so I'd started going along to Business and Heels events and I loved them. Um, I met some really uh, exciting people and um, yeah, I, I guess um, making the connections at the Business and Heels events actually built my confidence enough for me to be able to start my own business, which is great. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. And I mean, Natalie is such a, a lovely person. She was a speaker, wasn't she, at the last event there? Yeah, she was. She had yeah, a great uh, workshop with her. So tell us a little bit about your journey through Business and Heels because that's been a really interesting thing, hasn't it? Yeah, so as I went along and I, I was introduced to different people at different events, uh, people would say, oh, why don't you try this? Why don't you do that? Or oh, you'd be great at this. And, and I started trying things. I started blogging and, uh, and just started getting my, my brain thinking the entrepreneur in me was waking up. And I attended, um, <laughs> attended a, an event out at Penrith where Shah did a talk on your why. And at the end of that talk, and, I, and I'd been thinking on this for a while, but at the end of that talk, I, I said to everyone, you know, I'm going to quit my job tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I did go and quit my job, <laughs> a permanent job. And my husband was very supportive of that because we decided that we were going to go into business together. And just all the encouragement, the education and advice that I received from the women in all the groups had given me that confidence to know that I'd be able to do that. And, yeah, and I, we did start our business. It's been going fantastic. Really mm. <laughs> Yeah, and so what is it, you know, six or eight months on and you're, or a year is it now, hitting some real milestones. So yeah. So tell us a little bit about your, your business and what you do in it. Sure. So Snowy Econ Electrical, uh, I always say that I'm the brains and Paul's the brawn, but we are a bit of both. So I get on the tools with him occasionally and he gets in the office and does a lot of business stuff as well. Um, we, we find that our, our skills really mesh, so that's been really good. Uh, we do air conditioning and electrical in the Hawkesbury and the Pean areas. Mm -hmm. And Paul has a great reputation around here for really high quality work. So it's just been fantastic to get behind him and um, and build our business together. Um, yeah, we one thing that I love is that uh, we're able to form our business around our own values. Whereas when you work for someone else, you, you kind of have to latch on to their values and abide by that. But we're able to form our business and our staffing and um, the way that we work around our values. And that's yeah. really special. And, uh, yeah, just being able to enjoy our work, not feeling like work's a chore, knowing that, you know, every day is just new and exciting and, uh, and just enjoying ourselves. It doesn't really feel like work all the time. Exactly. And so tell us a little bit about what you hope um, to achieve with Business and Heels in, in the Penrith area. Just start building on the connections that people have with each other. Um, I think it's really important for business women to talk to each other about how they run their businesses and educate each other on the different techniques on marketing and doing your books and um, and how to treat your customers and how to get repeat business and things like that. I think it's been really good being able to chat to different people. So I'd like to build in the branch 
that culture where everyone is sharing all their information, we're learning from the speakers, we're meeting up with each other and just basically pushing each other forward in business and supporting each other. I'd love to see everyone in the next 12 months who is a member kicking massive goals in their businesses because of what they've been able to gain from each other. That's my dream. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. And it sounds great. So, you know, I think you're open to connecting with um, lots of different women who maybe haven't met you that are in the group. So we've got your um, email out. So if anyone wants to drop Karen a line and maybe tee up a time for a coffee date, yeah. um, you know, I'm sure you're, you're excited about it and you're busy working on your first event, aren't you? Yeah, getting that all planned. It's very exciting. I can't wait to see everyone there. Um, I'll, I'll get back to you on the date and all the details. <laughs> yes, yes. Very exciting. Stay tuned. So please make sure you connect with Karen. It's um, very exciting. And we have to, look, Desiree's done a wonderful job um, and she'll still be part of the branch, but um, due to her family commitments, yeah, she was finding it a bit of a struggle. So uh, certainly um, I think Karen is perfectly placed to do a wonderful job and I think, you know, you're going to have a great fun Great fun time with it. Yeah, I do think it'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> and exactly. <laughs> cool. Thanks a lot. Thanks so much. Bye, everyone. Bye.